Jesus is good. Do you know that Jesus is good? He's good. He's good. Do you know that Jesus is good? I had a vision. I had a vision that changed my life and I'll never be the same. I saw um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of children and I, I thought, I don't want to see this. And I started screaming out loud, no, no. And then Jesus showed up. He looked at me with those eyes of love, those burning, shandai, burning, passionate, fiery eyes of love, just like, shh. And he looked at me and everything just changed. He looked at me and he said, there's always enough because I died. There's always enough because I died. This little girl taught me what love looks like. She, she taught me what love and mercy looks like. I know what this little girl does. You know, she has to sell her body, her one-legged body to eat. She sells her one-legged body to get a piece of bread. She sells her one-legged body, her one-legged 10-year-old body to drink a Coca-Cola. You know, this is like, Somebody stop for one. Somebody, you know, this, this, this little girl is suffering out here. Like, the pain in her was incredible. And grandmother's a witch doctor. So when the house burned down and her leg burned off, grandmother said to the two older brothers, go out to the field and kill Helena. Kill her, stone her, because she's of no use to us. She's no value to us. She has no leg. So the brothers go out to the field and they throw rocks at her head and they think that she's dead. They think she's dead, but she's not. And she's lying there, bloody, broken, dying. This is so much. It's so clear. You can read the gospel and you can read it and if you just talk to people and you don't understand that love looks like something and you just say to Elena, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. What a cruddy mess of a life you have. And you don't say to her, come home and live with me. Then love is it. I don't know what love is if it doesn't look like something. And one day after a while, she just looks at me and she goes, Mama, I want to go home. And I, I just, I thought, no way. The, my first reaction was, no way, no way, uh, no. I wanted, to, I just said, no, no, you're not going back to that home. That's like, that's the most dysfunctional family that I've ever heard of. And I know a few, you know, it's like that one, no. And she said, what do you mean? How do you, do you think? You told me about grace. She said, you said Jesus forgives. You said Jesus loves. You said Jesus loves. You said love looks like something. You said, you said mercy. She said, how can I not go home and tell my family about Jesus? How can I not go home and tell them about love? I just pray for radical love to just rock this generation, God. I ask you for love to just come in and, and, and stretch every heart, God. Show them what love looks like, God. Show them what love looks like, God. That they would just go out to the darkest places. They would go to the brothels. They would go to the drug dens. They would go to the streets. They would go to the villages. They would go to the universities and they would stop for the one. And they would, they would stop for the one every single day of their life. It's not complicated. It's just stop for the one. 